Electron degeneracy pressure in stellar objects is a force pushing outward on matter that is generated by electrons being located in the lowest energy states possible of an atom, which collectively prevent the collapse of this matter into a smaller volume. Let's take a look at this electron degeneracy pressure. First thing is we need an object. So let's just draw a random cloud in space. So it's got a random shape. It's a cloud. It's made of matter. And this matter is made of atoms. Let's say we have a whole bunch of argon atoms in our cloud. This is a hypothetical example here. We have argon atoms that are making up the matter of this cloud. We need some kind of pressure pushing out that prevents this object from collapsing further. So it's a force pushing outward which gives us our pressure and it is generated by electrons being located in the lowest energy states possible of an atom. So remember, matter is made of atoms. And let's take a look at an example of an argon atom. If we just had a regular gas, like on our left, then our electrons can be located in any levels sur surrounding the nucleus, which is in blue. But we don't just have any gas, we have an electron degeneracy pressure gas. In this case, all the electrons are located in the lowest energy states possible. They're not just located at any level surrounding the nucleus, they're all located in the lowest energy states possible. So we get this nice compact configuration. Each one of these gray balls is an electron. They're all packed in. And when you pack all the electrons in, down to the lowest orbitals possible that surround the nucleus, we generate this electron degeneracy pressure. Collectively, all the atoms that make up the matter push outwards to prevent the collapse of this matter into a smaller volume. Let's look at an analogy. Here we have an empty parking garage on the left, and here we have a full parking garage on the right. In the empty parking garage on the left, there is no cars in it. If there was an earthquake to occur, the entire garage would collapse to the ground because there's nothing supporting it up. Let's take a look at the parking garage on the right. Typically, cars enter in from the bottom, and most of the time, people park and fill up the garage from the bottom up. All the spaces are taken, and so if an earthquake were to happen in this particular case, sure, the uh, parking garage might come down a little bit, but not too much because all the cars filling up all the empty spaces would help support the parking garage from staying up. It would mostly stay up and not collapse all the way down to the ground. And the filling of the cars from the bottom up prevents the additional collapse downward. So this is an analogy in comparison to the electrons filling the ground state up of the orbitals to prevent the atoms from collapsing further down, which together collectively prevent the collapse of this matter from getting smaller in size. And the pressure that supports this particular matter is called electron degeneracy pressure.